When your striking foot snaps, make sure to make contact with the heel of your foot. Hey friends, John here and welcome to the Martial After. Today we're going to go over the three steps to execute the perfect side kick. Now side kicks are one of the most fundamental kicks in Taekwondo. A correctly executed side kick can be one of the most powerful tools in your arsenal. So let's dive right in. Step number one is to chamber. When you chamber a side kick, even though it's thrown to the side of the body, you still chamber at the front of your body. Remember, a good chamber has an engaged leg hanging at 90 degrees. Step number two is to snap and pivot. These are in the same step because it happens at the same time. When your striking leg snaps out, your balancing foot pivots. You want to make sure you're pivoting towards the outside of your body, and you pivot on the ball of your foot, not your ankle. Otherwise, you could roll your ankle. When your striking foot snaps, make sure to make contact with the heel of your foot. Step number three is to rechamber. Now, as the name implies, side kicks are thrown from the side of the body. However, most confrontations will occur when an aggressor is coming at you from the front. So, once you feel comfortable with your side kicks, practice pivoting your body 90 degrees during steps two and three. This will allow you to execute a powerful side kick coming at an aggressor from the front. And that's it for today. So take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Hey friends! Uh -uh. You pivot on the ball of the hood.